All right, what's good with y'all, Basement? Today, I wanted to make a video that's actually gonna be helpful. I know I've made tip videos in the past that just don't include real tips. They're just completely sarcastic. But this one is, I'm telling, this one is a real tip video. And not only is it a tip video, I'm trying to pack as much value as I can into this video. If you guys don't know, I've actually solo queued the diamond with a 0.9 KD. So I know a thing or two about game set. Gun skill, uh, you know. You know, I'm working on it. And, and keep in mind, solo queue, like, you do not get good teammates on your team. All right? Like, it's, <laughs> it is not okay. Who are you talking to? Oh, shoot. No one. Sorry, I was in game chat. See, when I'm picking ops, normally I let all my teammates pick their ops. And then I pick hard breach because nobody picked hard breach. Okay, to be clear, though, I'm not terrible at the game. All right? Like, I've solo queued the diamond with a 1.2 also. So I've been on both sides of the spectrum. But my goal is to fully equip you guys with the skills to solo queue the diamond in one video, which I don't think is going to be possible, but... <laughs> You know, I can try. I mean, this round, I haven't done anything too special. I've just, you know, gone to ops that no one wants to go. And literally, because I went hard breach, we're going to win this round. See, like, I didn't do anything that round. I literally just opened the wall. But what people don't realize is that if I didn't open the wall right there, it wouldn't have pushed the defenders out of sight and moved them into my teammates' line of fire where they killed them and they got their kills. In fact, if I didn't go hard breach, who knows what could have happened. The defenders would have stayed in that site instead of moving into my teammates' line of fire, and they would have stayed alive longer, and possibly we could have won still, but we also could have lost. You know, it's more likely that we would have, would have lost because they had more site control. But a few of the things I want to talk about in this video are going to be positioning, how to hold angles correctly, and just general game sense tips that people just don't seem to connect in their head. Apparently, it's not. Like that, right there. When you kill someone, you shouldn't turn around and sprint. All right, now since we're on defense, I'm gonna see if anyone's gonna go bandit or mute. And someone did go bandit, oh my goodness. But they went at the last second, so I didn't even get to pick my own. Also, just a disclaimer to you guys, this video is not going to improve your KD. In fact, it's probably gonna make your KD worse. You're probably going to get less kills every game you play. If you're doing this correctly, you're gonna be opening a lot of walls, you're gonna be reinforcing a lot. <laughs> it's not necessarily gonna be this fun, fraggy stuff where you go cav and you just die instantly. But with that being said, it will help you improve your rank and that's guaranteed, all right? I have it, I have the data. Show me another person who's solo queued the diamond with a 0.9. All right, I don't think they exist. What is that guy doing? Like, did anyone else? He saw me right there and then turned around and he has the diffuser too. Can you not ping? Like, does pinging not? I was clicking the right. I was clicking right on the D-pad. I mean, I hit diamond in the middle of an ocean of MK players with that type of aim. I, <laughs> that is just disgusting. Just another quick tip though, and this is so under. Okay, you want this reinforced, all right? Just shut up. The amount of people who don't do this, who if they did it, they would instantly rank up. It's just disgusting. And you know what this tip is? The, the only thing you gotta do is set up the site. Okay, I did not expect him to be there. It almost feels wrong to say that. Like, it feels like I'm taunting you guys. I'm not saying you guys don't already know this. I'm sure some of you probably do it. But if, you, like, for, it's such a simple thing that you don't even realize the impact it has on every round that you play. Like, I can leave these two walls reinforced. It, it'd probably be fine, right? But I'm just, I'm just gonna reinforce them because maybe, maybe it'll save us this one round, which will save us the entire game. It's possible. That was incredible timing. See, the worst part about setting the site up is when a round like that happens. Like you spend the whole time putting your mirrors up or like some freaking crazy strat, and then they just walk in and demolish you. The main point I wanna get across to you guys in this video, and if you're not gonna listen to anything else, just please, just listen to this one point, because I wish my teammates would understand this point, and none of them do, and it, it, it pains, it'll change the entire trajectory of your game. Like it'll, li this will single-handedly put you up an entire rank if you listen to this, I'm telling you. And that is to understand the impact of actions that don't have a direct impact. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that when you reinforce a wall or you open up a wall with an ace charge, for example, you're not going to immediately see the impact of that decision that you made. You may not even see the impact ever during the round. For example, say you blew up a wall with thermite or ace and no one even gets a kill off of that charge that you blew. You're probably gonna assume just instinctively that that was useless and it's gonna feel useless. What you don't realize is that opening up that wall is gonna move the defenders around. It doesn't allow them to sit in that position where the wall is gonna normally be closed and it's gonna force them into other positions where your teammates are gonna have better lines of sight on them just the way that these maps are designed. They're designed so that the attackers can open up reinforced walls, can open up walls into the site and that pushes defenders into different locations into the site where there's more angles located onto them where it's less safe oh holy sweat that, oh my goodness 
Oh, I have a headache after that. 4-4 four, four match point, a 1v1. That's crazy. If you can just trust the fact that what you're doing is helping your team win, and it is, okay, trust it is, and you will rank up. It'll it'll happen, and you won't even realize it. And you're like, how is this happening? I, I, I don't, believe me, though, I don't know how I hit diamond with a 0.9. Because before that, all of those seasons before, I had a positive KD. I had like a 1.71 one season, and I like couldn't even go up to play. But then the one season where I started doing all this just basic stuff and just reinforcing a lot more and going the right ops, my rank skyrocketed and I, I was like, <laughs> it blew my mind. And then the next season I got even better with it. I mastered it down and I hit diamond with a 1.2 and I was like, holy sweat, I'm actually not that bad at the game anymore. I want to jump into some more specific things now. Some stuff about angle holding and just positioning. But holding an angle like this is not as good as holding an angle like this. Smoke your head, dummy. Stop playing with him. Smoke you dead, dummy. Stop playing with There's no way we win this. Holy sweat. Okay, I gotta kill though. The enemy team is spam inviting me now. I actually like that last example. That was actually a pretty decent example of how you should be peaking angles and whatnot. Again, I didn't invent this strategy or anything. This was actually taught to me by probably the best controller player that I've ever met. And the strategy goes like this. Say I'm an attacker, I'm trying to push into workshop or construction, whatever. What you wanna do instead of, you know, swinging and seeing if someone's there. What, how, what is that guy doing? But instead of doing that, what you could do is swing it and quick peek, just like that. Like, just, just, just real quick, you know? Like, why would you do that? Why would you jump in? But if you just quick peek it, and okay, no one's there. So I quick peek over here. Okay, no one's there. And then you swing in, swing in on the final spot where someone would be and try and catch them off guard. Just playing with this sort of strategy will get you so many more kills. Like it is insane. The amount of kills and deaths that I prevented by using this strategy. Like, just like that, like, it, it, okay, I know he's there. And I can quick peek it and then line up the shot and miss. Like, uh, holy sweat, that was so bad. <laughs> okay, that, this is a lot more for clearing rooms or like looking for common head spots where someone's gonna be. Again, this is where if you have good gun skill, you're gonna be a beast, like you will be unstoppable. Imagine you start doing these strategies and you start quick peeking and right and whatnot. And okay, I saw that there's a head there. See me personally, I'm gonna swing this. I'm gonna line up a shot. And then I'm gonna swing it and I'm just gonna like miss completely. And it's gonna hit all this big metal thing and the guy's gonna shoot me in the face and I'm gonna die. But just imagine you have good gun skill and you quick peek this and you see the head. And then you swing it and you shoot perfectly where his head is. Like that, would, I would be so good at the game. Like it would be crazy. I mean, frankly, I don't think my gun skill is terrible. I feel like I have pretty good aim, but like the stats don't lie. My goodness. All right, moving on. This is another just golden tip. I've seen champions not know this one before. Same holding an angle on this door. Oh my God. I knew someone was going to be there. I start, I could feel it. Ready? And they planted. Like, I, I can just feel these things. I, I swear. I feel it in my soul. I... <laughs> get it. Get it. Okay, I didn't get it. Holy sweat, I didn't get it. We get a rotate or something? Like, look at this setup. What? This is disgusting. There's no way that I'm, I went positive. I went positive and my teammates went negative. That's how you know this game is stupid. Whenever I top frag, you know we're gonna lose. I'll leave you guys with one more tip. The tip I was trying to give you earlier in the game before I got just absolutely railed like a train. When you're holding an angle on a door or anything for that matter, don't stand close to the wall when you hold the angle. Like, say this is the wall. Say, yeah, say this is the wall. And this is like my head, like the, you know, in game. Don't stand right here and peek around the wall. You want to stand way back here and peek around the wall. Like, you could, you can literally see it in this video. I'm peeking around the wall, and you can see a ton of my head. And I can't see that much. But then we bring the wall back, and my head is still protected the same amount. I think. In game, it is. In fact, my head is even smaller, but I can see way more. In hindsight, that tip probably made no sense. Like, not being able to see it in game. But basically, don't stand close to a wall when you're holding a corner. Because they're going to see your whole body. They're just going to smash you. Like, just for instead, back up from the wall and hold an angle five feet back from the wall. You know, 10 meters away from the wall. They're going to see way less of your body. Like, so much. It's just going to be a little sliver of your head. If you've ever seen those angles with a guy, like, you peek around the corner and you just don't even see him and you're like, how? How did he freaking do that? It's because he's holding an angle correctly and you're not, okay? So you wouldn't really understand how he did. So don't be an idiot, all right? Back up from the wall, hold an angle farther back and you'll be golden, all right? So that's how I, you know, am not terrible at the game.